Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This is not a video that I was expecting to have to make, but it appears that someone or some people have set up a scam website in order to dupe people into ordering items that they're not going to receive. They're targeting lightning rods here, but as I'll show you in a bit, it's targeting a lot of other people and companies as well. Scrolling through here, you can see that there's basically a bunch of thumbnails that they've stolen from my YouTube channel, um, our website, from the Lightning Rods website. They've even got our logo down here. And as it stands, this thing looks pretty farcical because it's pretty obvious that like an electric bike kit doesn't cost $60.88 or $61.88 and they're all the same on this and the rest of the site all has the same prices there. If you click on a listing like I know this one here you can see that there's no real description to anything with the product if you click on the sizes they all actually look to be related to um, clothing sizes I think these are. If you come down to the descriptions um, pretty much all of them have like five bits of text, no stars. Um, I did try leaving a review um, saying that you know it was a scam and it didn't actually post it, so I'm not even sure that is active. But I mean, you, you can add things into the cart and you can then proceed to a checkout, and I'm not actually going to see if it'll do payment or anything with it or not. I have a feeling that based on the look of this that it might be some kind of AI that's being used here maybe. I've heard of AI being used to create news sites so why not shopping sites as well I guess. And there's no apparent way to take this down. I mean if you click on contact us um, the only contact address is Mr. mia one at gmail.com so I can't imagine this person is going to how particularly with this. Um, if anybody knows how to have a website like this taken down, um, let me know. Um, looking at these reviews, it all looks like the whole thing was set up within a few days. Um, there was one post here on the 18th, the 17th, the 15th. If I, uh, if I come down to the bottom of this page here, you can see that um, it's copyright sixstores.tk and when I looked up TK it represents the territory of Tokelau which is actually some tiny atolls between Hawaii and New Zealand which is like hardly the epicenter of e-commerce. Uh, if I go up here and I click on home you can see there's a whole bunch of other links and it's all the same kind of prices here. And if I click up an online shop here, it does the same. Right? There's a whole load of different ones like North Rock Fat Tire Mountain Bike. The same comments, the same setup, the same clothing sizes listed here. Like so right now, this is it, it's a joke, right? All of this is is a joke. Like no one's gonna, you know, think that they can get, you know, a Harley Davidson for $61. But if this is AI, how long before it gets more fleshed out? Like how long before they make something like this look more professional? Right? Is this just a start? Right? Are people now going to work on this and make it more convincing until the point where people are actually duped by this? I don't know. It's pretty frustrating to see this and it's a worrying trend because to me it shows that if this is AI it's going to be as much help for criminals and scammers as it is for doing good like the development of antibiotics or solving engineering problems. So if anybody does know anything about this or has seen something similar or knows what we can do about it um, please let me know in the comments and uh, I'll keep an eye on this and see if it starts to change and starts to get more developed. Um, anyway, definitely don't buy anything from here because you won't get it. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers.